Hi guys, it's Sam, and I am coming to you from facing the other way. I usually face my mirror, and you guys don't really get a chance to see it, so I still love this thing. I I would highly recommend it. It's the Vanity Girl Hollywood mirrors, and they are just amazing. This one that I have is just amazing. The lights go all the way around. There's a couple, I think, with the, the lights just on the side. Uh, anyway, I thought this would be a fun angle to film in and the, there's natural lighting behind us and if I turn this on, I think it'll be too bright. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Okay, so well, I'm knocking stuff down. Anyway, I am going to be doing a haul in this video. I know I haven't done a video in the last couple of weeks, but I've just been busy looking for an apartment and I finally am going to be moving out. Uh, to my own apartment with my boyfriend. His name is Steve and I'll get more into that I'm gonna do another video with, with the tour and everything and we'll talk about how we got it and It's just an exciting time nervous time right now uh, when I found out that I got it. I was like, I don't want to move out anymore and so me and my boyfriend have lived at home and I know some people want to move out right away after college or after getting a job but for both of us we just were very happy our families were happy we were home so um, we didn't really need to we don't even really need to move out now but we just want a place of our own and yeah it's just an exciting time so uh, more on that I definitely want to do an apartment tour we're supposed to go tomorrow I'll try to upload this video as soon as possible so that um, the videos aren't like exactly back to back so let's get started the first thing um, I got LASIK done last year. Yeah, last year, around this time, almost a year ago. And my left eye is doing amazing. My right eye, though, it's not doing as well. And I, for me, I like to see 2020. I mean, who doesn't? And I went to the doc eye doctor, uh, my own eye doctor, not the place that I got the LASIK done. And he was like, you know, your eyesight is really good, uh, but I. You, I, I'll give you glasses, and so I've gotten, I've got, I have a glasses prescription, eyeglass prescription, and I've just been ordering from like goggles for you and Firmu, and I'm, I have enough glasses now to last me a while. So like you know, I have one in my bag, I have one in the car, and I have one in my room. Um, so this is another pair that I got from Firmu. They were doing a buy one get one free and I like the ones with the nose bridges because I have a flatter nose and it just helps to stay on. So this is one of them. And it's so funny, I also have contacts but I only need it for this eye. So um, it's, you know, it's, I wish that LASIK worked out better for me but this is, you know, the reality and I do, I like to see crystal clear so I I do wear contacts and glasses again but it's only for the one lens and then this is another pair uh, from Firmu and they are so cute I love them they're more quirky and I just really really think they're fun I don't know why it's so blurry okay so yeah these are what they look like and again with the nose bridge I think these are so cool <laughs> so I got those and if you know your glasses prescription, I would say get them from Firmu. The most important thing is you have to, so there's a number that's like from your the middle of your eye to this eye. And I was, before I had, uh, I was measuring myself the distance, and I think it's pupillary distance, that's what it's called. And so I thought it was 63 what I measured, but it was actually 58. And that can really throw off your vision if you're looking to uh, get your own glasses from you know not your the optometrist uh, because that can get expensive and there's these online sites I love these they are they I can see really well and you just have to be careful when measuring them next is something from my sister and she got me this from H&M <laughs> it's so cute every time I try to leave the box game somebody brings me back in uh, but adorable I'm gonna put that on my keys Maybe I'll put that on my new apartment keys. Okay, then uh, from Amazon, this is the Face Shop Rice Water Cleansing Oil. And I've been really enjoying using this type of cleanser to take off my makeup. And in a lot of Asian beauty uh, 
a lot of Asian skincare routines, you wash your face twice. So you remove your makeup with a cleansing oil, and this, this is what that one looks like. And then you use a regular cleanser slash cleanser exfoliator type of thing. Okay, then uh, from Amazon, so I had ordered these Plackers flossers. These are, I love using these. Um, I have them all over the house. Uh, not used ones, but you know, uh, I have it in the bathroom, I have it in my room, I have it in my bag, and they change the style. I used to get, they look very similar to this, but this is not taut, like tight, so it feels like it's like not doing a good job, and now I have these, and I got the one, I got them because I, in the picture it says something else, it shows something else. And then when I emailed Amazon, they're like, you can't get a refund. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. This doesn't show what I was getting. So uh, they gave me the refund and now I'm stuck with these. I already gave, I had ordered these a couple of years ago because I like to buy things that I know that I like that I'm going to always use. I like to buy in bulk. And I didn't realize it until I opened it, what they were. And I had already given those away and now I have to give these away too. Uh, some doggy toothpaste for Ava. This is Sentry Petrodex and it's poultry, poultry flavor, chicken, yummy. Uh, her teeth are not doing so great. Uh, I don't know, it's just, she's just prone to more tartar buildup and she had bad breath, uh, bad breath. And she, I took her to get her teeth clean and one of her teeth probably needs to come out eventually and I just feel bad for her because I sometimes I can tell that she's like kind of her mouth kind of hurts her. Okay, next. Oh, my sister gave me Bluetooth. I'm not gonna show you, but she gave that to me because she had gotten another one. And oh, so I was where was I? I want to say at one of a Walmart. Uh, this is the Milani Afterglow Strobe Light, and I saw this. They had four of them, I think, and these just look so pretty. Reminds me kind of like the desert. I don't know, like the sand. Um, so let me just show you. Looks like that. I'm gonna just press it. Just I don't know. Sometimes this camera focuses. Sometimes it doesn't. It's very pretty. And then, oh, okay, here's a bunch of stuff. My boyfriend wasn't using this, so um, I would like to try it. This is the SW Basics, I think this is from Target. Organic oat flour, almond flour, oh, maybe I shouldn't. I, I forgot if I mentioned that I went to the allergist and they said that I'm allergic to almonds, a couple other nuts. Uh, soy which is really hard for me because I love Asian food and apparently soy is also in a lot of processed foods um, so yeah that was kind of disappointing and cherries which I knew about uh, it's sea salt exfoliant so you're supposed to make like your own kind of paste thing which is kind of exciting well I don't know if that's exciting but it sounds like fun and then I got uh, so I got the body uh, SPF from this brand but I thought I would get the face this is the bare Republic natural mineral sunscreen for the face and I always feel a little bit better using something that says for the face instead of the body I don't know I'm weird like that sometimes with uh, moisturizers and sunscreen and then there is another mo uh, another SPF this is also by boyfriends but there's a tint to it and he's tan more tan than me so it shows up more noticeable on him this is the Pacifica Mineral Face Shade Coconut Probiotic SPF. And this one is much stronger and it says water resistant. It's 80 SPF. So, got that. And then this is the Shea Moisture. Oh, for men. Again, my boyfriend. I, we're, it's so funny. He's giving me all this stuff, but it's going to go end up at the same place again now. Uh, the African Black Soap and Shea Butter Facial Wash and Scrub. That looks interesting to use. I 
I also, you know, the Nivea thing has really got me thinking about other men's aftershave, and I've gotten a couple, and this is another one. This is the Yes2 Natural Dan Post Shave Cooling Balm. So, I'll try that. It does have glycerin in it, so it should work. And then this is, so all that stuff I've just shown you uh, is from Target, this one too. It's the Fig and Yarrow Rosehip Plus Argon Facial Serum. I do the Asian, you know, 100 steps skincare routine, so that will fit perfectly into my routine. And then, let's see here. Okay, so a few things from, this one is from Wegmans. I went to, where did I go? To a Target, and all of the Batiste dry shampoos were picked over. I was really looking for the brown one. Uh, but I thought I would just try the original anyway. This is the Batiste Dry Shampoo, and I'm almost done with the Herbal Essence, and I just haven't found a dry shampoo that I love, so I, I'll try this one because everybody raves about it. And then from Whole Foods, I've just been everywhere the past few weeks. Uh, this is a Dr. Hauschka regenerating eye cream and I do have another eye cream it's from I believe it's from Whole Foods as well but it's a uh, oil type of thing and sometimes with oils it just runs and I so I put it under my eye but then I just feel it like just running down my face and I, my face is so sensitive that it starts to like itch when it's I don't know so I want to try one that's actually going to, going to stay and this is a cream so it should dry a little bit better and then I also got this Moroccan Magic Argan Oil Infused Lip Balm Peppermint Eucalyptus. I love anything with mint or eucalyptus because it gives you kind of like a, not a burning sensation, but like a cooling one. I got this on now. Very nice. So I like that one. And then from Walmart, again, this is the Tom's Naturally Dry Antiperspirant. And this is going to sound kind of like... I know that antiperspirant stuff, whatever they put in there, is bad for you, but I haven't found an, another kind that keeps the sweat at bay under my arms. And so usually they'll just say deodorant, the natural ones. And this one says antiperspirant, so I'm excited to try this. Um, it's, you know, it's Tom's of Maine, and um, I'm, we'll try it soon. And then the last thing I'm going to show you, which I am so excited about because I've been this has been on my list and everywhere I went Target Walmart they've never had it uh, so this is the highlight wet and wild highlighting powder and precious petals I have been looking for this everywhere and now I found it I'm gonna open it down and you know elf packaging is so weird to open they make it so hard and I am going to go back to the allergist, speaking of allergies, um, I'm going to go back um, again because I just did food the first time and now I'm going to go and get air stuff. So that's like pollen and dust and there's check for if you're allergic to cats, dogs, uh, horses, cockroaches, things like that. So we'll see. Um, I. It's, I'm going to Florida, which I've mentioned a couple of times at the end of uh, the month, and I'm cat sitting. So I know I'm allergic to cats. Um, I'll just have to take a lot of Benadryl, that's all. So here it goes. And the swatches that I've seen are amazing. This is so pretty. Look at that one. And then let me just, so I'll put that next to it, next to the other one. So this is the Milani one, and then this is the Wet n Wild. Okay, so that is my haul. Um, I hope you guys are doing well, and look out for the apartment tour. It's going to be totally empty because we have to get everything. I do have, I, I had lived in one of my houses, well, the one before this. I lived inside apartments, so I had a lot of dishes and things like that already. Um, we don't have any furniture, though, except for like a bed. Uh, so we're just going to be bare for a little while and yeah, I'll just take you on the, along with us for the ride. <sighs> I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.